Welcome to Cash Cab, where we pick up random strangers on the side of the street. We take them in our car, we drive them to an undisclosed location, and we ask them a bunch of questions, and they may or may not receive money. Uh, my name is Ben Hardy. I will be co-host along with... Emily Wanamaker. This, this is Cash Cab. It's Cash Cab. Okay. We're going to ask questions, guys. Guys, you ready to answer some questions? Yeah. yeah. Do you possibly want money? Uh, I, would, I would like it. All right, cool. All right, so for our first question, Cumero, Numero, Uno. This is the modern aspect of Zulu superior beings that was encouraged by Christianity. Uh, that um, one, uh, 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 uh the, the Sky Lord? Um, what's his name? Oh um, my gosh, uh, uh, Nikosi Yazulu? Correct. Hey! Yay! And for our next question, in the Zulu religion, these elders of the village watch over their descendants, specifically during ceremonies like marriage, birth, and death. Your answer starts now. Uh, so, Ooh. they're the marriage, elders? Birth, and death. I mean, they're, they're important, important people. Or they sure. protect from I think, outsiders. What are they called, though? The... Don't shades do that? Yeah, yeah. That? shades. Is, Is it, it shades? shades? Shades, final answer. Correct! Yes. yes! Awesome job, you got that one. That was awesome. All right. Good answer, good answer. In the Inuit religion, this person plays the role of communicating with spirits and traveling to different worlds in the sky. Who is it? Go. Okay, I am pretty sure that this is the shaman. The shaman? The shaman. Okay, let's go with it. Shaman. Correct. Oh, nice job. job. Awesome. All right. Good answer. Correct. This is one of the most powerful goddesses in the Inuit religion. When pleased, she releases whales, seals, and other sea creatures. Who is she? She's of the, she has to be of the sea if she controls like the sea creatures. Yeah, right. so, and she's pleased by certain yeah, things. Yeah, right, right. So, of course. her name has to sound, I remember her hearing it in class. It was like C, Set, Sedna? I think that, yeah. Sedna? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sedna. Correct. Good answer. For your next question, this shape of the native North Americans is important, reflecting nature, such as the shape of the moon and sun, the rotating seasons, and occurs in nature. This also plays a role in ceremonies, art, and community organization. Okay, so seasons, there's three, four seasons. And there's like the rotating, the okay. moon cycle, circle. Would it be a circle? I circle. think, yes. Yeah. Circle? That is correct, it is yes. circle. All right, correct, it's a circle. Next question. This is who the tribal people of North America claim. This is, uh, hmm. What is Native it? American, it like, it's like there's something, something about a spirit. spirit. He's like great, is it oh, the wait, no, one spirit? One great spirit. Yeah, yeah. sure, let's go with it. That is correct. Right. This religion is pragmatic and concerns themselves with securing material advantages for this life only. All right, so these are, it has to do with like Zulu? The Zulu tribe does it? Zulu, I don't know. The Zulu sounds safe. The I Zulu think. religion? Okay. Zulu. Zulu. Zulu tribe. Zulu tribes. Oof, big oof, that is a no. Aww. Incorrect. Come on, Minus <laughs> one point. I don't know why I went over there. Long answer, it is not the Zulu tribe. It is African indigenous religions. Maybe we'll do better on this next one. This is the most common religion in the world, made up by several small groups. Okay, um, this is okay. So the most common Hinduism? No, no, no. 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 It's like a, a lot of small groups uh, that oh, make up one. Um, in, indid yeah, indigenous, indigenous religions. Religious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Woo. This be so corny, y'all. Right. Correct. Indigenous religions. Next question. The fundamental concerns of African societies for health and well-being are expressed primarily through this. So what are these exactly? So this is like, this has to do with like, the rituals. It's like practice. I mean, yeah. But rituals I think is... Ritual? Yeah. Ritual At, activity like, or something? Yes. Yeah. Ritual, ritual activities. activities. Ritual activity. Yeah, correct! Nice Woo! Good answer. It's correct. Next question. This language of the Bangwa makes no distinction between witches, sorcerers, spirits, and animals. Oh God, I don't remember 
remember the pronunciation of this one, but it's, it's something weird. Yeah, it starts, it starts with, with an N. N. Oh, is it a silent N? No, I don't think no, so. No, I don't think oh. oh. No, way? I was like, way. I thought it was like, way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Mm-hmm. That is correct. <laughs> In the Bangwa religion, this artifact is exhumed and kept by a person of the same gender it belonged to and passed down generationally. Okay, yeah. So, so. passed down generationally. I think Jewelry? This is, no, no, I, I think, think it was something more them. personal than that. Oh. Was, like, like their bones? Their bones. Skulls. Skulls specifically? Sure. Well, Let's yeah. Go with skulls. Right? Skulls is correct. Yeah, nice. That's really cool. That's really interesting. These are correct. Two more questions. The primary causal forces that influence well-being include spirits of animals, plants, and deceased people. Where are they located? This is a really weird one, you guys. Okay, so spirits would mean like up, right? It wouldn't be like worldly. (laughs) I mean, yeah, when you think about this, like you think about like the moon or like the space at least. Yeah, Yeah, the moon. Okay, the moon. the moon. Wrong answer. The moon is not the right answer. And for your final question, the term for one generation setting standards and having following generations judge them based on the value of an idea or practice is called this. Oh, this one is so easy. This yeah. is, it's tradition. Tradition. That was easy. Tradition is correct. Yeah. Now, as for tradition, it's time for our show to end. What uh, what did our guests win today? Ten ten dollars. Oh. You get ten dollars. Oh. All right. Thank you for playing Cash Cab. You won a total of to, to how much did we get you guys? Ten, ten bucks. Ten bucks. You won ten ten dollars. Yep, total. That's all you get. Now, now get I'm out. We're gonna park the car and you're getting out. Uh, goodbye. And our contestants have been dropped off at our local Chuck E. Cheese, where they can gleefully Woo! spend their ten dollars, which I forgot to mention is actually in Chuck E. Cheese credit. So, oh, perfect. Well, that works. All right. Now, to answer your final question for a bonus five dollars in Chuck E. Cheese Woo! credit, yes, yes. What is the hashtag being spread around campus? Uh, um, wasn't it like hashtag, hashtag sa- sa- No, hashtag stop, stop Stanford. Stanford. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>